It's 3 o'clock, time for the Hour of Mercy broadcast here on Annunciation Radio. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin first with the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Following that, we will have Mass recorded this morning at 7 a.m. at Rosary Cathedral. Again, weekday Mass always takes place at 7 a.m. at Rosary Cathedral. You're always invited to attend in person. We thank so much Monsignor Kabaki for allowing us to record that Mass and play it back for you each weekday here on Annunciation Radio at this time. The celebrant for today's Mass, our own Bishop Thomas, will be the celebrant, is the celebrant uh, for today's Mass. Following Mass, we will have Sister Ann Shields and the program Food for the Journey. All of that happening this hour. But again, we begin first with our Praying of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. My name is Dave Astris, joined by my wife, Eileen. Hello, Eileen. Hello, David. Hi, everyone. And I know lots to pray for. I know you've got some prayer requests there, Eileen, but I do want to invite you, dear listener, if you have a prayer request that you would like to share with us today, so many things on the hearts and minds of all of us. Uh, if you have a particular prayer need uh, that you would like to share with us, let us help you to carry that burden uh, please do that. Call our office. You'll speak with either Tim or Ron. They'll write your prayer request down and bring it into the studio so that we can share it as we continue our prayer. You don't need to be nervous about going on the air. You won't do that. Uh, you'll just simply talk to either Ron or Tim, and they'll write your prayer request down, first names only, and we will share it, and we will do what we have been told to do, which is to share in one another's burdens. We would see that as a wonderful honor uh, for us to be able to do that with you. That telephone number to call, 419-868-2966. 419-868-2966. I will tell you this, there's probably not a better place around uh, to share your prayer request, knowing that people are going to join you in that prayer request right now, all praying together together. Uh, for that thing that is uh, a burden that you are carrying, a desire that you have on your own heart or mind, why not share that with us that we might all carry that before the throne of our Father together. 419-868-2966. And with that, we begin our prayer today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I know you've got some prayer requests that have come in, Eileen. Yes, the first one is Kimberly asked to pray for the repose of the soul for her mom, Georgiana, praying she will be reunited with her husband of 67 years in heaven. Left behind are 12 children, 46 grandchildren, 24 great-grandchildren, with six more on the way, praying for comfort and peace of the family. And we thank Kimberly so much for reaching out yesterday to let us know that her mother was in hospice care and nearing the end of her life. So we were able to uh, pray for Georgiana yesterday. Again, thank you for that opportunity, Kimberly, and uh, allowing us to pray for her in preparation for her passing from this world to the next. And so, Father, now we do come before your throne and give you thanks uh, for Georgiana. Thank you for her life. Thank you for the fruit of her life. Oh, my goodness. Uh, her husband of 67 years who uh, passed on before her, leaving behind 12 children, 46 grandchildren, and 24 great-grandchildren with six more on the way. Father, I thank you for every single yes of Georgiana's life. Thank you for every time that she proclaimed you as Lord. Thank you for every time that she stood for life, not only in the way that she lived out her own life, but in witness for you. In so many other ways, I ask uh, that you would bring comfort and peace to the family now that uh, she has been taken from us uh, from this earth and now reunited with you, seeing you as you truly are. I thank you for that moment, even before her, her children, her grandchildren, those who love her, who were surrounding her at the time of her passing, even before they knew that she had taken her last breath. She was already before your throne, seeing you, beholding you. And I thank you for that moment. I ask that you would have grace, that you would have mercy uh, uh, for her, that you would welcome her into your kingdom. And again, comfort those who are mourning her loss, those who love her 
and will continue to love her. And we thank you for uh, the legacy that she has left behind. Prayers also for Jane, whose husband Carlos passed away this morning from a heart attack. This was unexpected. Please pray for the repose of his soul. Oh, Father, we pray for Jane, who obviously is experiencing such pain today in the sudden passing of her husband, Carlos. Um, Father, we know that the, the difficulty that is associated with something that happens like this without any indication that a, that a problem exists and then an individual is taken from us, uh, the pain that is left behind for those to carry who are left here is significant. And so I pray for Jane. You say that you will be a husband uh, to the husbandless, to the widow. And so, Father, I thank you that you are a husband to Jane, that you will minister to her in the midst of her loss, that you will comfort her, that you will walk with her in a new way because of what her need demands. And I thank you for that. I thank you as well that this moment with Carlos did not catch you by surprise, that you had prepared him and that you had continued to prepare him, that you gave him invitation to draw closer to you. I pray that you would have mercy and forgiveness, that you would welcome him into your kingdom. And again, we pray for all of those who are suffering today because of this loss. And finally, Tim, our own Tim, producer Tim, asked for prayers and celebration of three years of marriage today with his beautiful bride, Tracy. May they grow in love, embracing the life they share together. And Father, I thank you for Tim. Uh, Tim's a member of our team here. Producer Tim, we love him so much. And we want to celebrate him today, Father. We thank you for this mirroring of the Trinity uh, that has come about through the sacramental marriage of Tim and Tracy. We ask that you continue to pour out your life into them with generosity, touching the hearts of so many others. Again, Tim works here. Uh, his wife, Tracy, uh, works at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Fremont. So they live their lives in ministry to you, Father. And I thank you for that. I thank you for the call that you have on their lives individually. I thank you for the call that you have on their life together as a married couple. I would ask that you would continue to use them to bring many into relationship with you through the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you for their witness. I thank you that they will continue to grow together even more intimately and that they will grow in intimacy with you as well and ask that you bless them in a particular way, a special way, on this, their Trinity, uh, their, their Trinity anniversary, their three year anniversary. Kathy just called in asking for prayers for a just resolution to a legal proceeding that she is ending right now. Father, I thank you that you will bless Kathy and her coming in and going out, that you will grant her favor in this situation. I thank you that your hand is upon it, that you are bringing back that you are bringing forth a just judgment. I thank you for that. And Father, I ask that you would turn the hearts of anyone whose heart needs to be turned, that it will be absolutely obvious that you are the director of this thing. I thank you for it and trust it completely to your care in a particular way, also asking for the intercession of someone who is before your throne right now. Father, we pray for the intercession of Thomas More, St. Thomas More, uh, in this particular situation as well. And so these for these intentions that we have spoken aloud and those that each of us carries about in our own hearts and minds, we bring them all confidently before your throne, Father, as we pray. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And before we go any further, Vicki calling in, asking for prayers for the world, especially Israel, Ukraine, and other places, for world leaders to come together to work diligently for peace. And Father, we do submit this request to you, coming all together, all of us coming together, asking for peace to reign. And Father, in order for peace to reign, your scripture makes it clear we need to be praying for our leaders that we might have peace amongst us. And so, Father, we do pray for our leaders to have wisdom, that they might have clarity of thought regarding how best to protect the people that they are responsible for, and that the violence would be would be um, driven back, would be abated, and that peace would reign in our own hearts, in our own lives, in our communities, in our state, in our country, and in our world. And we do pray in a particular way right now uh, for all of those in Ukraine and Russia in the midst of that conflict, Russia having uh, been the aggressor there. And then, of course, we pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel and Palestine. Again, that peace would reign in that area, that it would be restored, and that there would be an understanding of the value of each and every human life throughout our world so that all lives would be respected and war would end. We entrust this prayer to you, knowing that only you can bring it about. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.